Cody wanted to know if he could drink out of the jug. He said, can I chug the rest of this? Go ahead, if you want to, you can. That's a lot of milk. I don't know if you're gonna be able to drink all of it. <laughs> all right, tell me if your family drinks out of the jug. Do you think other families drink out of the jug? That was a lot of milk, Cody. Do you want to know who used to drink out of the jug? Daddy. My brother, and we all thought it was disgusting. And when our neighbors would come over, they would say, we, it, like all my brother's friends, <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I used to do. <laughs> um, they would be like, we're not drinking out of your milk. They would only drink our milk if, um, if a girl drank it, if they opened a brand new jug. <laughs> Joel is so picky. If you guys watch our channel, you know that Joel is so picky Are you about drinking out of the jug. No, not a chug that entire thing. I would throw up. When me and my siblings were little, you guys are gonna love this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Um, Gross. Are you guys in like No! It 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 works the best when um, it's very, very full. This has been opened a little. Me and my sisters would <laughs> take a full jug. <laughs> and kind of suck it in. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> All right, I'll show you. Yeah, that's like just the grossest thing ever. Yeah, it's totally disgusting. Oh. I'm waiting for it to focus on the milk jug. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you keep that's so gross. Yeah, it is. We need to buy new milk now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not drinking that. Okay. I'm no, Lincoln like... wants to do it, and I know he'll spit all of his milk back in. We're not gonna do it anywhere. You no, guys. I'm gonna swallow it. No. I'm giving Lady a treat while I comb her because I want toast her to enjoy toast. being combed. What? Toast cake. Okay, go get your toast. Go get your toast. That's I've, mine. I've been recording. That's my toast. Ah. No. She don't, I don't think she like loves being combed. No, come here. Stay. Lady, stay. Okay, put in another piece of toast for Lincoln, guys. Well, I, it's just me. I brought what? Oh, you Lincoln, you already have toast. Eat it all gone. You can't have any more until that's gone. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Well, I turned the camera on because I have been really loving my mornings with the kids. And so I've been recording in the morning a lot with the kids. But they all left, <laughs> so it's just me. No. No. Well, in the frame, in the camera. Oh, Lydia is downstairs. Brushing her teeth. Yeah. Oh, well, Boston's gonna dance for you guys. No, I'm not. Okay. Okay, yeah, maybe we... she wasn't loving us because she's super tangly right now. Cody's not looking in his own store cut to bed. Roll a number. And then give her a treat. I'm trying to teach her that. She doesn't listen that well. Why would you spin her over? Yeah, she, no, Lincoln, that's leave how, her alone. That's, that's how dog rolls over. She goes on her back and rolls on her bus. Mom? And if you say roll over, what is she doing? What is she? Oh, she wants that bone up there. Late Lincoln, go get her bone on the top of. <laughs> oh, can I tell him what I was thinking? Sure. Okay, so. Lady has been, I've been sleeping with Lady's kennel door open and she stays in there. She'll put her paws on my face sometimes. Like if she wants to like stretch before she goes to bed. Like once I'm like finally falling asleep, I'll just feel like not like a tap, like just like just paws, like try and grab onto something so like she can stretch. I'm like, so she, <laughs> she uses your face. What? Mom. I drank my thing, yes. I drank. All the rest. Okay. Mom. What was it? Mom. No. Oh, um, I was thinking of, cause lady right now, she mom, she stays mom, in her kennel. When she go, when it's time for bed, she'll literally just like curl up or put her paw, her paws and her face over like her little pet doggy. Mm -hmm. Her pet doggy. Mm -hmm. And like, she'll just like look at me and then start to kind of drift. Oh, oh do you asleep. watch her fall asleep? And then sometimes her head will like fall to the side. Oh. So you were telling them that right now she sleeps in her 
crate with the door open, what was your idea to get her? She's at the age where she could she she could sleep on that bed without anything, but mm -hmm. mom's kind of scared that she'll go potty. But well, that she'll get off of her little bed and go potty like on the big bed, on Olivia's bed. I don't think she's going to get off of your bed, and I don't think she's going to wander the she's house. She's probably going to be tired. Huh? And she's scared of the dark. No. Oh yes, she is. Yes, she is. She is scared of the dark. She will not walk in the basement if we turn the lights off. And if we do, she bolts up the stairs to where there's light at nighttime. It's true. She is scared of the dark. I had the idea that we could barricade this with my pillows. And like every other week, I'd take off like a pillow and have one slot open. And I want to get to the point where like there's just one pillow left and she'll stay there. Olivia, that is ridiculously smart of you. I did not come up with that idea. Olivia did. Weaning her away from her pillows. That's really smart. I do that sometimes with, oh, with, when it was my birthday last year. Um, we, I did that with Lady. Like, I, like, I, like, made, like, a teepee and, like, covered it so I could look in to see what she's doing. And she'd keep on crawling out and go to Emma. She'd, like, walk to Emma and, like, lick her face. It was funny. Well, I think that's a wonderful idea, and if you want to do that with Lady, you definitely can. I feel like you're really helping with training Lady. Yeah. Will Lady be able to go to my birthday this year, Mom? Your birthday? What that do you mean? Thanks. Last time, she skipped my birthday. Yeah. Oh, because she was at training. Yes, she will be here for She's your birthday. She's good without the training for like quite a while. Well, yeah, it's because we've continued the training. They trained her, yeah, and then we've continued doing it. Yeah, that bone reeks. Dad won't get rid of it. No, Dad wants to get rid of it, and I won't let him because Lady loves it. <laughs> Lady's happy that we're happy. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Where did you hear that? I don't remember. From like a random movie. I think it was from... <laughs> Lady, is that you? <laughs> Who else do you think you're holding okay. by your feet? Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate your phone call back. I walked in the kitchen and he's like, Lady, is that you? <laughs> Are you a stinker, lady? She is a stinker. No? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Can I just use your jacket really fast? Come my, here. It's a jacket. Give me your hoodie. Oh. So I can wipe the camera. Oh, it's still dirty. Maybe it's like an inside the thing issue. It could be. I'll take that camera in. Yeah. Oh, it is. Today. It's on the inside. Okay, I would it. love it if you could take this in because. You ready to buy a new camera? Well, I'm not. No, <laughs> no but it's fine. Okay, can I please talk to you about something that I learned today? So important? there's a few things. What? Is it important? Right. Do you see the surrounding? This is like masterpiece theater. Only important topics get discussed here. All right. Are you ready for the for a good topic? Yes. So, showed up to my appointment at 9:45. It's actually at 1:45. So, there's that. There's that. I go and get what's called a um, lymphatic drain massage from a second generation trained lymphologist she's my well she's my um esthetician esthetician but she's like so much more than that she's on the board of all sorts of things anyway um and she was trained under like one of the original doctors that like learned that technique there's a what's his name you guys don't care okay <laughs> so anyway she's really good at what she does and I showed up, so once a month since I got the all clear after my surgery, the first surgery and the second surgery, she's just wonderful with lymphatic drain. And I have so many stories about it, but we can't go into it because you would all unsubscribe because I would be so <laughs> boring. So I have to rest my arm because it's so tired from working out this morning on the couch. Seriously, I'm resting my elbow on the couch right now. I go in for these appointments once a month, so I'm having these done. Oh, and she was telling me about, she has a friend that does um, pain management. She was telling me signs and symptoms of people that have issues with pain management. Now, preface, or let me just say. Pain management? Um, pain medication management. Oh, okay. And first I have to preface with, that was, it was a very hurtful time when I was recovering from my surgery and people 
um, basically made stories up out of thin air about me being like addicted to my pain meds. Was I on pain meds because I had just gone through a major surgery? Yes. Major, major surgery. Do, do good doctors over prescribe medication? No. Did I have a wonderful doctor that was uber strict about my medication? Extremely. So strict that he, yes. he like wrote me about it. He was like interrogating me to make sure that I was on top of Bonnie about this. But it was like, we have to manage her pain, but we also can't have an overlying issue because it's very, very powerful. So anyway, that was like brutal and painful that people basically watched to hate me. What, what are you doing with your life? What is your life that you watch me to hate me? Mm -hmm. I can't even begin to understand that. But anyway, so we were talking about some of that person's clients and how I didn't know this and this makes total sense. So pain meds or, and I think meds in general, can get stuck into the pockets of your body and they'll lie dormant and then they can be released into your body and then you feel the effects of the that medication again. Really? And my jaw like fell to the floor. I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's why I feel like my recovery maybe, I don't know, me mentally lingered with me too because I would have days where, didn't I tell you, I'm like, I feel high today. Mm -hmm. And Joel's like, have you taken anything? And no, like no, I hadn't, yeah. I didn't even have access to anything. That's what's bizarre about the whole like, she's addicted to pain meds. Where am I going to get a supply from? Like, tell me please. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there have been many multiple times where it will the medication has shown up and like and I've felt it and I just have been so confused and like anesthesia I was thinking about the, that on the way home. It has taken me so long to get over it. My hair is look look. Do you see that about an inch back? All right here, you can see it. It's so embarrassing that my hair is thinning still. I am just crossing my fingers and praying that that it comes back. Comes back. Yeah. I know a guy. <laughs> Actually, I've thought guy. about it, and I'm like, I don't have. I'm a very. I would. I guarantee, I would not be a candidate because rare case, I have a really thin donor area. That's mm -hmm. usually that's very unrare or uncommon. Yeah. Well, if your donor area is no good. Yeah, the and I don't have a good donor area. You won't waste his time because it will be a waste of money for you. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so I, that was like a really long, drawn out little chat. But I just wanted to talk about it and share it, I guess, because I thought that was so bizarre. And like, I think I knew that, but didn't. Anyway, so this is what she said. She said, when you come back for your appointment, she has like a vibration machine that's really good for um, swelling and maybe to jar everything loose. You have to go back for your appointment? Well, because it wasn't at nine. It was, it's at one. What? Yeah. So I, um, so she's going to shake me and then she's going to do the lymphatic drain and I'll have to like do a video on that sometime. It, it works. It's real. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think because I've talked for so long, we have to close the vlog. <laughs> it's funny, it's like we're on a time schedule, time frame with our videos. Anyway, it feels good that the last like little... <laughs> um, it feels good to sit down and just like talk. I feel like I've been able to really connect with you guys lately. At least I feel that way. I hope you guys are feeling it too. Except the people that watch to hate me, I don't connect to you. <laughs> Okay, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and you want to be, click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of our video when our new videos go up, click the bell underneath the subscribe button. And with all of the changes that YouTube has made recently, I would go back and verify that you've hit the notification yeah. bell because there's a good chance that stuff's been disrupted a little bit. YouTube's had to make some changes. I think it's adjusted things. Double check, hit that notification bell. Smash the notification bell. Oh boy, okay, bye. <laughs>